Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Okay, I'm on. Um, I wasn't quite ready to be on, but it feels like it's one of those SOS calls. Okay, I'll tell you what I was about to do before it was like, no, let's go on. I haven't even got a coffee. Like, that's how... I don't know, it's serious it seems. But first of all, I want to tell you what I was planning on doing. So it's a good time to give you a heads up on it. I'm just about to do a pick a pile, okay, and they're with the colour. Um, the secret language of colour cards. Now I played with this yesterday, really interested in the messages that were coming out. So I'm going to be putting these up, okay, and they'll be either A, B, C, one, two, three, or you can choose a colour. So you can email me already if you want to participate in this. It is for a um, for a donation to the channel. Recommended donation 1111. Okay, that's what I'm gonna say. I don't want to charge because some of it's really it's kind of fun, and I want to start doing these every week. Okay, so that if you don't actually want to read and you want to play along, these messages are amazing. Anyway, so I'm gonna be working on that. So you can sit there now and actually try and think of what color may come up, and if it does, then it's a sign that okay, um, just an energy exchange. Okay, a donation towards the channel to help keep the channel going, keep it fun. Um, recommended donation eleven eleven. Okay, so um, feel free to email me. I'll put the details in this description box about this, what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to get them recorded today. I'm hoping that they're going to be 15 minutes long. That's what you're going to get. Um, so you can either email me and say, yes, please. I want to have them out tomorrow, Monday. This is what I want to do on the beginning of the week, is actually have a different pick a pile for you to do for an energy donation. Um, okay, so you can email me already. If you want to say, so, I want A, B, C, or one, two, three, or you could uh, predict a colour, it's toast it, just play along. Okay, let's get back to the seriousness. Whew, got a little bit of coffee. What's going on with the energy? Let's have a look. And then I can get on with uh, having some fun with the cards. Have you got your cup of sunshine this morning? Oh, look. Dripping. Okay, oh. Messy cup. Should we have a look then? I don't know. On the table, I just I was actually tidying up, like going through, you know, as you do, you ponder. So, all I've got on the table is the Tower of Sexual Magic, the Channel of Love cards, my own cards, the Psychic Tarot is still in the box, and I've got the traditional right away. Now, the Tower of Sexual Magic seems to be over here with the Channel of Love. And then we've got the Rider weight here. So let's have a look at the Rider weight first. Come on, let's um, see if we, it's a lovely day as well. So we don't want to be cooped up inside all day. I mean, it's a, it's a, a glorious day. I've got to pick the washing out. So let's let's make sure we're recording. That will be good. We are. Okay, at 313. I started getting really nervous. That's why I knew I needed to come on. Um, it was, no, I'm, I'm going to lie, okay, I'm going to lie. The nervousness was there. But it was as I was tidying up the cup, the cups, the cards. Um, these, I just remember, started jumping everywhere. We had the two of pentacles in reverse. And for some reason, I, count, I sat here and I was looking to see whether the journey of love were all up the right way. Because it, although it doesn't matter, they don't have a reverse meaning. Them and the Mother Mary and the roommate, I do kind of like to have them up the up the right way. But instead I found I was counting. And I, I got to like 50 and I thought, I've been counting to 50 and I haven't even like been, I wasn't even aware that I was doing it. And I got to 70, so I checked on the box, make sure that there was 70 and there is. Very interesting. And then these cards were just popping everywhere, flying, and then the Seven of Pentacles went off. And that's kind of waiting for your harvest to come in. And all I kept saying was, okay, 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 it's cool, breathe, I'm coming on. It's all good, <laughs> seriously. You want to come and live in my world? It's crazy. So, should we make sure these cards are up the right way? Do we dare look? Oh, I saw, I do we dare look. Well, he's there, I know what's underneath though, because it was like a, a flip book, you know, like, when you flip a book, and it's like, <laughs> my dad used to do those, I love them, oh my goodness, my dad's such a great artist, anyway, okay, especially when it comes to like children's characters, <laughs> um, 
Right, what are we doing? Oh, sorry, got distracted. King of Swords, okay, so um, you're in your head. I'm going to speak directly to you. You're in your head and it's regarding the connection because it's underneath. It was like, flick. Flick the page. You're going to flick the page. Is that why we want the Psychic Tarot to show us the book in now? But this is about um, wanting to start afresh. A clean, a clean page. You know when you just kind of, um, you've got a book. I do it all the time with the books and you kind of, <clears throat> okay. It's like that page is not going to, we're starting again. The H here for Hay House. I thought it said, um, what did I think it said? I can't remember what I thought it said. I thought it said something like lo life comfort or it says lifestyle on there but it was something to do with comforting life life no it doesn't make any sense that makes no sense whatsoever okay we'll just keep quiet then Four cards. Let's do it. Passion's been ignited. This is an opportunity from the universe. Okay, that's being offered. It's like a fairy tale. There's a palace in the background. Look at my nails. What do you think? Hold on, I've got issue nose. <laughs> I've done I made a real bodge job. I knew I was going to as soon as jump Jasper jumped on my lap. I was like, no 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 no. I can do it today. But anyway. They're funky, aren't they? Funky, funky. I'm just explaining my bodge job. Oh, itchy. It's like Jasper's nose up my hair. Oh. <clears throat> um, the aces are opportunities that the universe offers you as a gift. There you go. It's up to you whether you take it or not. But the opportunity's there. It's being offered. Um, it's not a major arcana. Free will. Okay, this is about returning to somebody from the past. The card, Six of Cups, is about memories of love. Childhood memories. Uh, it normally does mean returning to somebody a past love. Remembering what love is. This is a love that's matured. So you're ready for it. So it's like the universe is saying, you're ready for this opportunity. Would you like it? Looks like you're having a good walk around. You could be hanging around like churches, uh, like chapels of rest, maybe. I don't know, chapels of rest, graveyards. <laughs> uh, quite comforting. I never feel, like, scared in the graveyard. I feel actually the opposite. Uh, I find, find them quite um, fascinating. Okay, so you're here, you're positive. You're, you're what? You're pos positive. You're positive. So definitely a fresh start here. Let's show you. This is an idea. Okay, so um, it's, it's like you know this opportunity is available to you. Um, it's kind of like your idea. That makes it even better because it's your idea. What's your idea? Well, it's like a clean, it's a, a new chapter. It's starting something afresh. Okay. And I think you've been gathering your thoughts as you've been kind of connecting, however that is for you. You could be grounding all the grasses there. You're taking some walks. You could be by the water. Oh, I felt like maybe you could be watching like um, fairy tale movies first. I was going to say romance movies. It turned into fairy tale, then it was like Disney. You got yourself some Disney Plus. That's made you feel really um, young hearted. 
Um, we all watch these movies with our children, okay? And you should be able to see, I mean, they do instill kind of a, it's not easy as it gets into true love, okay? There's always this knight in shining armour. It's like you've been getting lots of ideas. It's like you're this sunflower. Oh, justice is here. So you've got some major arcanas on your side here, and you've got positive p -p -p positivity. You've got to, this is your, um, you just got to be positive about it. And not just in mindset, but um, in energy. This is like, oh, exciting. Yeah? Okay. It's your idea. What's your idea? Even better. It's awesome. It's, it's definitely a, a, I don't know what idea you've come up with, a new idea, justice. Um, so I feel maybe, oh, you might have got your hands on some uh, abundance, prosperity, divine may have delivered to help. Um, if you've got an inspired idea, and I mean you've put some, some thought behind it, okay, and you're like, yeah, this is good, this could work. I think even if your doubt come in, it's like you've already sent your request out, so divine's already kind of got that. And they're kind of going to you, no, 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 do that, that's good. No fear, do that. Um, that's awesome. It's like the idea just keeps coming back and back and then it, you just keep expanding on it. So you've already sent out the manifestation. Divine's here with the resurrection sword and the scales of justice. So um, this is good. When you know what you're wanting and it's a real good idea and it's prosperous and abundant, not just for you, but for our world, divine will deliver. I'm really intrigued to see what's at the bottom of the deck. Oh, okay. Well, there's you. Okay, I've got goosebumps now. Okay, scary. Yes, we're going to get you a postcard from Spirit. Scary very much, okay, but the possibilities, yeah? Okay. It's all right, you're having a good look here. It's like, do you go through with it? Or this is a, a burning desire. A burning desire. That's, I think that's the number one key. Napoleon Hill's keys, uh, the master keys, I'm sure it's a burning desire. I mean, you have to kind of incorporate all of them, but a burning desire. You're unstoppable then. Okay, I, like I said, I was tidying up. Postcards from Spirit. Let's get rid of these chills. I got chills. They're multiplying. And I'm losing control. Cause the power you're supplying is electrifying. Well, let Sandy pipe down. It's like you've got some things to say. It's all good. You've got some great ideas here. Oh my goodness. I mean, like, these are amazing ideas. They're very fruitful. It's like you would be a fool not to follow through with this. This is a very abundant um, opportunity for you. And you have full support of the universe, but it's your idea. You have all the plans ready. This feels very much like you are ready to return. You have this uh, blank page, this clean slate. As a little, it didn't even look like a bird, it looked like a flying feather, <laughs> just flew past the window. Um, it does feel very much like that, on angel wings. Oh, we've got the um, the hair here. It says, live your dreams. Do you know what I was thinking about today, which is really, was a, a lucky rabbit's foot. I remember, um, this is quite gross, okay, but this was going through my mind. Now Tia, her back legs always remind me of like a rabbit's foot looks like a rabbit foot and I thought how do you know what a rabbit foot looks like and I just remember like I must have been so young okay I have to kind of locate where my dad was living and my dad lived in quite a lot of different places uh, like him and my mum were um, not together and it was my dad it was with my dad and I thought it was quite gross but for some reason today but I don't know something about it and they had like a rabbit's foot okay and I, I don't know it was and I, today I was thinking, well, when you cut off the rabbit's foot, what kind of happens at the top? Do they sew it up? No, I'm serious. 
I was thinking this. So we've got the hair here. So I don't really know too much about I've never seen one since. Um, but I must have been, oh dear, seven. So about seven, eight, maybe. But it was one of those things. My dad. <laughs> it wasn't like a rabbit's foot. I was quite like freaked out by it, but it was like. And that come to mind today. Let's read this uh, card because we've got the hair on here. The tortoise and the hare. Okay. It's like a race to the finish line now. Catch up. You fell asleep because you ran so fast. <laughs> yes, you fell asleep, so then it was on the catch up when you woke up. So, dearest June, isn't it amazing how things seem to come around? full circle, in ways you could not possibly have planned. You wonder how a dream could die, only to be resurrected, years later, when you're really ready. Oh, except when you're ready. Memories of love, this is definitely something that you have a passion for. It's like, I just have this, like, um, I feel proud. That, that's how I... So like I have this beaming smile for you. Like this, well, <laughs> the sun's looking a bit serious, but hey, a bit like the masculine. I can feel it. And it scares you. <clears throat> Don't get choked up. Okay. Oh, childhood dreams. Fairy tales. Dearest June, isn't it amazing how things seem to come full, come around, come full circle? <laughs> isn't it amazing how things seem to come around again, full circle, in ways you could not possibly have planned? You wonder how a, <clears throat> how a, <clears throat> come on, grab your cup of sunshine, Miss Sunshine. We've got Mr. Sunshine here. Mr. and Mrs. Positivity. Mr. and Mrs. Sunshine. It's my Mr. Happy Cup. Let's get back to this. Isn't it amazing how things seem to come around again, full circle, in ways you could not possibly have planned? You wonder how a dream could die, only to be resurrected years later when you're really ready. There's a justice in the resurrection sword. You thought it was time back then. But your wisdom knows better than your small self, whose desires are unmet. Mm. Okay, so you thought it was time back then, but your wisdom knows better than your small self, whose desires are unmet. Now here you are, with a new opportunities to do things from a different, more mature perspective. Here's the opportunity, grown up now, look. We want you to trust that in this new opportunity for rebirth, you will be called in two directions. And the one that is unfamiliar will be the right one. In the unknown spaces, the uncharted places of infinite potential, we are waiting to guide you into your fullest life. Big bounty will come if you remain in the present. You have come full circle. And now you can see that everything changes, is made new, and is given new hope. Loving you. Always. That's amazing. Okay, so we can see why you're a little bit torn. Nothing's right, I'm torn. Okay, I don't know the rest of this. I'm all out of faith. This is how I feel. I'm cold and I'm awake. Lying naked on the floor. Illusions never change into something real. Mm. Okay. It's all good. It is all good. Come, no, it's like really good. Really, really good. So I have to get up and close that window though. I'm sure you just want me to see me get up. You see the fluffy slippers I've got on. I told you I wasn't ready. Don't really go with the dress, but you won't get to see the slippers. 
I'll, um, I'll save you that one. Okay, we'll close the window though. We're going to have to get a journey of love, aren't we? Seeing as I've kind of counted like 70 cards. I must have done that for a reason. <clears throat> okay. Um, should we have a look at the psychic tarot? Oh, my heart's beating. My heart skips, 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 skips a beat. Okay. Whew. Calm it down. So we've got this opportunity. It's wicked. It's awesome. So what I can say? I can sense it's just amazing. Fan dabby dozy. It's like you're a genius. Tapped into love, sex, romance. If you're a genius. I can still hear the birds. Shh, keep it contained in here. Okay. Let's do this, Ace of Wands. <clears throat> you're resting and rejuvenating. And you've been meditating. Come on, this is where it's come. It's been a, a flash of insight. You've seen it. So you've seen your vision. You've seen it. You've been stunning yourself. Uh, you've definitely rest. You've definitely rest. You have. I mentioned it earlier. I can't remember what I said, but I said about how... I'm not sure you... I think you've been um, connecting with nature. Maybe not tree hugging. But um, you found the beauty within nature. Whilst you've been out, I said you've been out walking. So connecting. Well done, yo. That's cool. That's so, and I know how cool it is because I'm. I love it. I love it. And if I love it, it means that others will love it. And then you get to appreciate the beauty together. That's the beautiful thing about it. So you've been resting, but you haven't. You've kind of. You've been meditating, that's what you've been doing. Yoga as well. Been picking that up. Yoga, stretching. Mm, definitely so need to get into that. I'm a bit lazy. I'll tell you what I have done though. It, really weird. <laughs> this morning I woke up and it was like, did I do that stuff I did last night? And um, I ordered my shopping. <laughs> I can't get it delivered. There don't seem to be any slots, like, forever. <laughs> But you do have like you can you can click and collect. I think that's it. So like you put your order in, they pack it, and you just go to your local store. And I managed to get one for Tuesday morning, which I thought was pretty cool because like they're even booked out. I thought okay, that's fine. So I had to do this thing about what day are we on. But I had to have the order done by like six o'clock this morning. I was like, oh shit. So at four o'clock, I'm putting in my order. And I actually completed it. Normally I'd start it and then forget about it. And then the shopping just wasn't ordered. Which is but So I've ordered my shopping. But what I've done is I spoke to the guys. And we're going to um, take on the recommendation of... Um, oh. For Oneness, I think it is. It's all one to beloved. I can't remember one of those that recommended doing... She's doing juices in the chakra colours. That's going to be interesting. So we're going to have, anyway, I've told you about the, the colour, um, the secret language of colour therapy that I'm doing the pick a pile. But also, we're going to be doing like, I've ordered all, all the colours, all the spectrum of the rainbow. Well, I've tried to. Anyway, what we, let's have a look at this rest and uh, <laughs> rejuvenate before I get you too excited about next week and all that's going on. Okay. On the channel of love. That's too funny. Sorry. Just uh, I'm really happy for you. There's a real excitable energy. And it's really nice to feel. It's so nice to be around. To be around an excited person. Okay. Oh. Come on Mr Emperor. It's cool. What does it say here? We want you to trust that in this new opportunity for rebirth. You will be called in two directions. Okay, so it's going to happen. Two directions. You're going to have to make a choice, that means. You will be called in two directions, and the one that is unfamiliar will be the right one. 
in the unknown spaces, that meditation space. I'm just having a chat with the emperor. It's cool. It's easy this way. Oh, we'll read that in a minute. So in the unknown spaces, the uncharted places of infinite potential, we are waiting to guide you into your fullest life. You got the message. You got the memo. Awesome. Big bounty will come if you remain in the present. <gasps> will you take the gift? Well, it's, so to remain in the present means to remain in this uh, passion. Okay. Um, a passion. It, it, a passion for desire. Wow. So you enjoy desiring things. It's great, isn't it, when you play? It's like... Oh no, that's possible. It's all possible. And then you realise, shit, I'm possible. Yeah. Okay, <sighs> too excited. Big bounty will come if you remain in the present. You have come full circle and now you can see that everything changes, is made new and is given new hope. Out with the old and in with the new. Divine masculine. Let's read this. I'm opened up to memories of love. Look at this. It's like I've been lighting the candle for you. It's like that's too cute. Okay, anyway extending this flame here let's get to number let's get to number four this card implies that a period of rest meditation rejuvenation and recuperation is in order it usually comes forward when you're encountering or coming out of a particularly emotional emotional or mentally taxing experience you've been focusing on them taxes that was just you out okay <sighs> breathe is it done Feel better? Awesome. Okay. So, you, you've done it maybe. That's why you're coming out of this now. The number four in numerology means foundation. So this is a time to heal, to be with your soul, and to continue moving steadily forward. That really kind of led to me to be with your soul mates, like your divine feminine. But hey, and to con continue moving steadily forward. Allowing space just for your reflection is both needed and long overdue. So allowing space just for your reflection, that would be your divine feminine. You need to allow her in. You need to allow this adventure in. It's like, but I feel like you want to participate very much. You're scared though. Okay. Um, your divine feminine is that mirror. It came out yesterday, spitting image. Okay, it's a yin yang. That's why it's so scary. It's like you're facing yourself. It's like shit. So allowing space just for, for your reflection is both needed and long overdue. <clears throat> Reposing. Strike a pose. <laughs> Sorry, I had these yoga positions going through my mind. <laughs> Re <laughs> oh. Reposing and taking moments for yourself will give you the opportunity to look at a problem or situation instead of being in it. It's a chance to stand back, view your life with clarity and renewed appreciation and see where changes can be made to create a healthier and stronger foundation, enabling you to take your next step. Awesome. Right, awesome source. When you tap into it, let's get another one. So this is... Um, Your idea, your idea, of course, we've got the wisdom, which is the hierophant, so the high priest. <clears throat> it's your idea. What's your idea about? Well, I don't know, it's contained within this book. Where are you going? You're saying goodbye. You're going to follow the sun. You're either saying goodbye or you're saying hello. Here. Because there is... Memories of love, returning to someone from the past. Good little doggy. Little doggy's by you, look. He's checking you out. Okay, let's read Wisdom and this uh, Six of Cups, Memories of Love. Come on, we don't want to be on, on here too long. You seriously want me to use those Tower of Sexual Magic as well? Okay. Five, let's do this. Temptation and <laughs> the devil card. <sighs> oh. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. This card illustrates that there's a spiritual teacher who's about to influence you 
or step into your life to impart his or her wisdom. Telling you, someone's telling you. It's either yourself or someone else actually telling you to um, pursue this uh, great passionate adventure that you have in mind, that you actually have in hand. Have you wrote a story? Have you wrote a song? This is a hymn book. Are they your thoughts? Is that your project book? <laughs> it's like, what's in there? Look around. Is there someone in your life who has the acumen, education, knowledge and ability to integrate spirituality and its laws into the constraints of the physical world? This could be a compassionate person who offers guidance and inspiration and reminds you that you're so much more than a physical being. You're also a spiritual being with unlimited potential. Now, this person was showing their face the other day, wasn't they? Encouraging you. Okay. You may have also drawn this card to confirm that it's time to reach out and find an organisation or group of like-minded souls. So, it's definitely about being part of a group, your idea. It's a group. It's a group venture. Let's hear it then. Put it in the comments. <laughs> You may have also drawn this card to confirm that it's time to reach out and find an organisation or group of like-minded souls. Being part of a group where you can be yourself, share your thoughts and get valuable feedback can infuse you and encourage you to be all that you can be. Kindred support helps you live life to the highest ideals, finding the true inspiration and enlightenment that's part of your soul. Over time, the student often becomes the teacher. So don't be surprised when others seek out and find you. This card of wisdom is letting you know that you have so much to share, whether you realise it or not. There you go. That's beautiful. Let's get on to the sun. You've got me beaming. Like a little sunbeam. Or a moonbeam. Would you like to swing on a star? Oh, oh, oh. Carry moonbeams home in a jar. Mm -hmm. Firm foundations. Oh, would you rather stay on earth? <laughs> Do both. Best of both worlds. Oh, a bit of Miley Cyrus. It's the best both worlds. Hannah Montana in disguise. Wasn't who she truly was, was it? Okay. She had to go undercover. Firm foundations. Let's look at this because I saw this on a tree yesterday. We've been picking up on this uh, root chakra, so let's read it. Um, the interesting thing is is that um, it's the four of pentacles, but I always look at it as a, a positive it's more about your now uh, grounding him. Um, like you're really, like you're pushing your roots in. You're getting your toes into it. <laughs> your hands into it. I don't, okay. Mm. Let's come up. Why do you keep doing that? It's, like, it's a good idea. Whew. Found foundations. This card denotes that you have already or are currently working towards establishing a solid foundation in the material world. Using good judgment and heeding lessons from the past concerning financial matters will assist you in laying a firm groundwork. By doing so, security will have a better chance of building in the future. Okay, so you've tweaked something. I imagine it's just letting go of all money worries and allowing the universe to deliver so much more fun than worrying, especially if it's been you've been through quite a, a taxing experience. Okay. Woo! Okay, the material card, it doesn't say that. I know. Oh, we've got positivity. That's the way forward. Divine masculine look. The material the material power that's now around you can either be an advantage or a disadvantage. Depends if you want to go on the p positive side or you want to stay negative. It is your choice. You can turn around. You can turn it around. You can turn around that quickly. But that's how you just decide. And the law of attraction just 
lines up with your vibration immediately. Okay, so the material power that's now around you can either be an advantage or a disadvantage, depending on how you respond to it. Don't let your current position determine who you are. Remember to give back and prime the pump of prosperity. Spoke about this yesterday, giving and receiving. Is there someone that you need to give to? Okay. So remember to give back and prime the pump of prosperity for true spiritual and material wealth is as much about giving as it is receiving. Seek proper investment advice. Be careful who you're listening to. Okay. Um, it's probably only about 2% of the population really you should be paying attention to. Seek proper investment advice and realise that you don't need to hold onto your possessions too tightly. Just be flexible and allow things to continue to flow. <clears throat> it's coming in. It's coming home. It's coming. Football's coming home. I'm not sure if it'll be this year, but it will be coming home. Of course it will. What's your idea? Okay, it's about a group. Interesting. Sport. So, justice. Let's have a look. Um, who's getting the best of both worlds? The waiting game. <laughs> That's too funny. I was just trying to read my mind. Yes, I was thinking about football today. I actually was thinking about the Olympics the other day. And me and the children were talking about like a uh, shot put. I said, maybe we should have our own Olympic Games. And then today, I felt I just felt like getting a football and going out and playing football with the guys. And I haven't done that in years, like just as a family kick around. Um, and I felt like playing football. Okay, so that's quite... I don't even know if we have a football. It's fun, though. <laughs> It's fun. Um, but that I did feel that um, football. So there's your answer. The waiting game. It's not what you're thinking. And in my head, I'm thinking, I'm not saying this stuff out loud. Why not? Because I've been thinking this stuff about football and it's not really something that I have a reason to think about football and about that there is no football. It's because I heard a kid out there playing football earlier. I gave me ideas to type take a ball out and just do some dribbling dribbling it comes in with the dribbling of the cup some dribbling look i did see how long it takes me to get to it go out and dribble a football okay it'll be fun okay it'll be fun you'll go and catch the sun fun in the sun okay that's the name of the title that's the name of the title that's the name of the game does it mean anything to you? Only if you pick up signs and synchronisations. And you're a bit of a genius where you've learned how to put them all together now. Put the puzzle piece together. We'll have to do that later. That's going to be finished. So much to do today. Okay, the waiting game. Let's let's crack on then. Mm. I do love how I have a good chat to myself. Okay. Two of Wands. This card indicates that you've worked hard to set things in motion in certain areas of your life and you're now waiting for the results to come to fruition. Feels like there's a moon dip, a sunbeam, is that like that? Very faint little rainbow going on there. Okay. This card indicates that you've worked hard to set things in motion. Remember this is with justice. Just on your justice is on your side, the waiting game. It's over. Third time, this card indicates that you've worked hard to set things in motion in certain areas of your life and you're now waiting for the results to come to fruition. The number two is all about choice and decision. In the past, you may have been afraid of making decisions or choices, but now you're no longer held prisoner by this fear or the constraints of old beliefs. Expect the best and be open to the limitless power of your intuition, which is presently very strong. Trust and use it to assist you. All I can see is the look, the reaching out here, partnerships and alliances, divine masculine, divine feminine here. It's 
to trust and use it to your to trust and use it to assist you. Achievement and success are assured. Justice now. But once obtained, don't let it change you. Remember who you are, the effort that it took to get to this point, and the gratitude, appreciation, you need to show to the people who helped you. Stay on your spiritual path, for it will continue to guide you on the journey of your soul. So we're going to a journey of love now. Perfect. Let's get it done. Are we really going for those uh, tarot of sexual magic? I'll keep asking. <clears throat> Let's see what this card says then. <clears throat> I can see that you're looking at the corner of your eye. I see them. I see them and I see you. How long have we been on for? I didn't want to keep it too long, did I? That was 40.57. Let's do a journey of love then. Ooh. Okay. Jumpy. The Swan 67. I need to clear my throat. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Now, the card before is 66, obviously. That comes before 67. Six is the number of love. Love, love. And 66 is coming together. Oh, and love is the poem before. What does that say? Love is a special closeness that sings from the heart, that warms my days and nights, that feels good, that makes me smile, that makes me glad to be alive. How cool is that? <coughs> it's really cool to feel glad, glad to be alive. you know then that you're in a state of appreciation. Right, can we get this message out for Swan, please? Swan, so it took me to like kill you from Once Upon a Time. That's a fair, have you been watching Once Upon a Time? Awesome, isn't it? Okay, I think so. But, um, Swan, how hook is with Swan? Gliding with grace, nothing is withheld from this beautiful soul. It can discern what is genuine, authentic, loving, and what is from the ego parading. Even through the most impressive words or gestures, this soul can sense the holding within of a core of fearful separation from the divine. With grace, it allows all to be, and moves amongst this world with inspiring light and grace. I've got to pronounce this. Parama Hamsa, great swan, the soul that moves the souls of others, is reaching to you now, the guru, the teacher, the light, the love that is all. You are blessed by a sacred divine relationship with the essence of love itself that adores you and wants only for you to be free. This oracle reaches to you now, indicating that you are held within the grace of a great soul, a teacher of the heart, of the spirit, and there is endless light bestowed upon you for protection. Your path ahead is assured. Soon you will be shifting from hope to a sense of inevitability in your attainment of your spiritual goals closest to your heart. Be with your practice of love through meditation, yoga, kindness, nature, dance, singing, Whatever speaks to your heart and know you are one with the divine and it's only a matter of time before you realise it. To love from afar, all we share are dreams of what will unfold. Okay. So we're going to do these Tower of Sexual Magic quickly. And um, they don't always have to be filthy, do they? No, they do not. We've just missed 1313. 13. Okay, which is death temperance, helping you through this rebirth 
Okay, it's time to balance out, alchemize this. Let's have a look at these Tower of Sexual Magic. Whoa, what way round are we? I'm not, now we're going to shuffle. I'm not showing them what the bottom of the deck is. Please choose a different card than that one. Thanks. There's a time and a place and a space. Now is not it. We're going to get a roomie as well, so um, let's have a good message from these, please, Mr. Emperor. Yeah, okay, so we've got death. It's shown death here. Uh, it does really look like um, the Divine Masculine's been through very challenging times. There is a slight warning here. Um, it's like, it, I, don't, I don't think he's fearing the Divine Feminine being furious with him, okay? It feels a bit more like a karmic energy. It does feel like a karmic energy that's going to be like majorly pissed when she finds out about the connection between the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. This is a big fear for the masculine. The idea is good, but the realisation of it is scary. Because you have lovers in the background here, you've got the death, and it looks like this woman could just go around chopping off everyone's heads, really. Um, but here you have to have no fear. It's, it's facing the devil, isn't it? Uh, and it's just facing the things that you feel. This can't stop you. It, this person's running out of time. You're stronger together than apart anyway. And you're protected, universally protected. There's no way. This is just fear. Love conquers all. The baddie never wins. Never. So, because this is a hero's game. <laughs> Heros Gamos. T wants to come in. We'll let her in. Otherwise, she's not going to stop scratching. That was really weird because she doesn't sleep in here and she come in. Um, when I done the little birdie video, she was in. The lights were off where we're going. To, we were just about to go to sleep and it was really quite strange. It was like, but she stayed the night. Mm. Okay, let me see. Hello? Hello? Would you like to come in? You can come in though, but can you come in? You can't just sit there at the door, that's a good girl. Hi, how are you doing? She's just going to go and take her spot. <clears throat> right then. Um, so, this is... In a way, it's just kind of like... Um, Hi, do you want to come up? I think she's going to jump up. She's not a scaredy cat this one. Well, she is actually. Um, but she's feisty. You don't need to have any fear, Divine Masculine, especially about this um, transition actually going through with it. The lovers are in the background. It's like you're both... It's okay. That's in the past. It's like you, soon you're going to, going to be able to sleep soundly. It brings me in with seeing that um, home here, wasn't it? Life lifestyles and I felt it should say like life comforts are you coming back over you're not going to settle she's behind the screen okay oh and this one yeah ace of pentacles so the ace of um wands remember that this is a, an opportunity that divine feels that you're ready for and you're ready for this as well this is your legacy the ace of pentacles Sure abundance, look at the flames here. It feels like them chakra colours. Okay. It's all lining up now. It feels like it's perfectly aligned. And again, I've picked up before about this phase coming through. You're coming out of the blues. Okay, I don't feel like I want to get any more. We'll have a look at the bottom. T is very unsettled. I feel like we best get this wrapped up. Um, and you've got the King of Chalices, the King of Cups. This is nice. This isn't like uh, like you being cocky about it, okay? This is just, um, you've got tea. What else have you got going on here? Looks like you've got some kind of, I don't know what's on the floor. It looks like an egg salad, to be honest. She's got her little kinky stockings on. He's got his cup of, uh, looks like it'll be like strawberry blancmange. <laughs> strawberry mousse. So it, and he looks mature. He looks serious. 
So he's definitely taking this seriously. I think he just looks contented, to be honest. It's like, wow. Got a teapot. The nursery rhyme, Polly put the kettle on. But Suki take it off again. Okay, we'll all have tea. How about a cup of coffee? We've got none left. A little drizzle. Well, we're doing the drizzling today, so. I'm not greedy. It's all good. Okay, so I'm going to now. Um, so you've got the King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. We want to read me message. <coughs> and I'm going to go. Because i got things to do. People to see. Trees to hug. Cats to cuddle. A life to live. Enjoy. A life to enjoy. And remember that that devil spelt backwards means spells lived. You really lived when you can face that devil. Let's soon find someone else to um, attach themselves to. Okay. Cosmic Heart. This one wants to, that one was like kind of really bending. So this is a beautiful card. Look at this. Cosmic Heart. Let's have a look at what's going on. Eight. Perfect. Infinity Symbol. The eyes have gone heavy, a little bit. The matchsticks. Okay, let's find out what's been going on. I was dead. I became alive. I was tears. I became laughter. The power of love arrived and made me everlasting power. I have seen everything. I have no fear. I have the heart of a lion. And I shine like Venus, Moonbeam. And I have a funny feeling that card there is out who's the star of Venus. I don't know why. It could be the... It's the one that's... I think I saw purple. Should we just have a look? I think we should. I was going to say it's either that or it's the Cloak of Christ. It's the Cloak of Christ. Four. Halfway. Can you meet me halfway? Right at the borderline It's where I'm gonna wait For you I'll be looking out Night and day It's a good video, you should check it out I'll share it Okay Emily's having a good sing Let's um so let's see if we can end on a positive note. The Cloak of Christ. I'm not, I'm not going to read that. Um, I've read this card many a time. So, um, oh, I might in a minute. Okay, maybe just for half of it. Okay, just half of it. Let's do this. I hear it and weep in sublime reverence. I bow to this living, beating, loving heart of the universe. It echoes throughout all of creation. Once, some time ago, I was deaf. I had not heard one true sound. Much noise, but no truth. So I believed in many things not worth believing in. Then in a moment of my crisis that cracked my heart open, I was given a gift. Though I felt fear and confusion, a gift came to me more powerful than those temporary ailments. That gift was the ability to hear the sound hidden beneath all of life. I heard it, that sacred sound of the beating heart of universal love. Now I know that belief in unworthy things like fear and doubt is lunacy. Even my loneliness became unconvincing to me. <coughs> Excuse me. We are animated by this living heartbeat part of life that is sustained by it. You and I, the planets, the birds and the fishes, emerge from the great source because of this beating heart of the universe. It pumps life through our veins. What proof of this is needed? You live. That is the proof. 
I hear it everywhere now. It has become so loud, louder than any word of fear. It resonates through my soul and eclipses any tremor of anxiety. There is a time on the journey of love. <laughs> we have the swan. Okay. From the journey of love. There is a time on the journey of love when the beloved, that would be you and me, sweet soul, is prepared to engage more completely with the heart of the divine lover. The preparation will be a rich process, spiritually speaking. It may also feel like being beaten, pummeled, simmered and stirred in the pot of the divine master chef to become a sacred and savoury meal fit for the most heavenly of feasts. This is a courageous and bold process, one that will create the most delicious aromas in the soul, and yet it is one that will likely take us right to the places we would rather avoid, places of confrontation with pain, but where the loss of its grip on our being no longer lets us quake and retreat from life in fear or uncertainty. You have been through these tantalising trials. The push to surrender fear, the realisation your attempts at control amount to not so much, actually. So why not abandon them altogether? The trials you have asked... You have asked. The trials have asked you to confront every part of your being that holds itself back in resistance to what is, in resistance to what life presents at this very moment. You have been asked to become comfortable with the possible discomfort of not knowing and to understand you don't have to understand anything for life to work out with perfect synchronicity and generous grace. You have been asked to bear darkness without losing hope for the return of the light. You have been asked to trust in your own heart wisdom when your mind was terrorised by nightmares and hallucinations of fear. They were so powerful, you were certain they must be real, that you must be crazy not to run and hide somehow, somewhere. And yet here you are, still loving, still wise, and ready for a love bigger than you have ever experienced before. So we step forward together, you and I. I link my arm through yours and I urge you on. Let us run together and jump over the edge. <clears throat> no more half living in any way for you and me. We will weep crystal clear tears and we will laugh with such joy that stars will burst forth, born upon our exhalations. We will hear the beating of the cosmic heart pounding in our ears and how we shall dance to it. That sacred intoxicating rhythm moves hips and hands and hearts, raising the soul from slumber. But that heart does beat so loud. It can be startling to the parts of you unused to such wild, unconditional affection and rowdy playfulness. You may worry that this great love is not going to be careful enough with you. <clears throat> what if you get tossed around in the great oceans of love? You will surely be disorientated and become lost to the world you once knew. How then will you know where to go? Fear not, my soulmate. Love has its wisdom and its way. It's like love has its wicked way. Oh, what's going on? Is that a bit of hair or a shadow? Probably my shadow. We shall become lost in its genius together. Whilst our minds are tipped this way and that, tumbled in love's great waves, we shall be forced to surrender our useless intelligence and become mindless. Then how easy it shall become for the perfection of love to guide us. For there shall be nothing within to question and resist. We will no longer have to find the way, for we will have become the way. This oracle comes with special guidance for you. More love is rushing towards you 
like a great cosmic tsunami. You will struggle with this blessing to the extent that you will attempt to hold on to what has been. So don't. Let go and let it move you. You'll perhaps get some water up your nose, but nothing will come to you that you cannot handle. You'll be disheveled somewhat, undoubtedly. Yet as you are washed up upon love's shining shore, keeping every hair in place will be the last thing on your mind. You'll be too caught up in the wonder of perfection, realising how deeply loved you are and how unnecessary it is to contrive a way to live your purpose. Instead, you'll have no idea what is going on. You'll be surrendered in passionate embrace with life, simply being your exquisite, crazy, unique self, saturated with divine love. It will drip from you, out of your feet, your eyes, your voice, your touch. You'll water the earth with love's oceanic presence. Oh, how that tsunami will deliver you into your divine destiny. No need for any contrabance. Let your hair get messed up. Your destiny awaits you now. Oh my goodness, it sounds like you're going to have a gushing good time. I'm going to go. Amazing reading. Much love to you. I will catch up with you soon. One hour, one minute, 27 seconds. Bye for now.